Candace and Mr. Petfoot and Mooney's over here. Um, he saw our previous on video. Um, I'm really, really sick, so uh, we're filming in the bedroom. I'm just a little bit more comfortable in here right now. Um, the bed's a lot softer than the leather couch, so um, sofa, whatever. So we're filming in here. So. I have not gotten this box in a while, and this is actually the second, I think, the second time I've gotten it, um, since I've moved here. I think I got, uh, got this when I moved here in January. I can't remember, um, but I know that one was the first one I had gotten since the box was first released by Nerdblock quite a while back. Um, and it is the Cyfam block. Hope you didn't hear me over the air kicking on. Anyway, this is the Cyfam block for April 2017. Um, it's just recently that um, Nerd Block switched the name from Sci-Fi block to Cyfam block to um, incorporate two different franchises or two different um, genres together, which is science fiction and fantasy. And I think. Um, I think that was actually a good move because the last one I got I really really liked and I do know what's in this box but I guess what I can't remember so I get to get excited all over again I did post on Facebook that I couldn't wait I had to open it I had to get a peek and I absolutely loved it so I can't but I can't remember what's in it so I'm excited to get on in here and feel the excitement all over again because I was really impressed and that is a very hard thing for me to say about Nerdblock, um, the Nerdblock company as of late with all their BS antics that have been going on. So, um, I was impressed. So, let's get in it. And that is, see, when you open it. Alright, the first thing we got, and I had one of these, and there's a ton of different ones, and I wish I could collect them all. I'm going to have to check for them on Entertainment Earth, because they're on sale uh, quite often. So I'd like to uh, collect the entire set. Um, I have the entire set of these trading cards, but they are um, from Biff, Biff Bang Pow. Um... Officially licensed Star Trek the original series fine art shot glasses These are just amazing um, like I said, I've got the full Complete set of the trading cards that these come from and They're beautiful and um, that's what I'd really like and there's a uh, drinking glasses as well Not just shot glasses, and I would love to have all of them. They're so amazing um, they, these aren't the ones I got, um, but there's just some of the others you could get. And I'm wondering if people got random ones or if it was this particular set. Um, but there's so many, so I'm guessing that people got random different ones. Maybe, maybe this is the set that, yeah. Okay, so this is the set that I got. All right. I just didn't look at them very well. But these are awesome, and I've been wanting some, so that is awesome. Uh, the next thing we got is our pen, and oh my god. I cannot remember what this is from. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it when I peeked in the box the other day, and all of a sudden I'm like, I can't bring. I said, I'm so sick, I just I cannot think straight. Oh, no, it's going to stretch my legs. But anyway, this is the pen, and it is beautiful. And it is from Wax Off Designs. They uh, do a lot of pens for the Nerdblock company, and I really like them. The next thing we got is also another item that's on my list. Um, even though there's a ton of them to collect. Um, but it is a Twilight Zone figure, also from Biff Bang Pal, and it is a limited edition, and it's from one of my most favorite episodes, uh, Eye of the Beholder. We got the Doctor, 
Dr. Bernardi. And there's the other Twilight Zone figures you can collect. And there's the limited edition sticker. So that is very cool. And I'm not big into like the these reaction type figures. This isn't reaction, it's a different company, but um Biff Bang Pal does a much better job than Funko's reaction figures. This, this, oh my god, I'm going to save it for last because it's just beyond awesome. So the next thing we got is this Dune print. And I'm, I wasn't a huge, huge Dune fan growing up, but my dad was. But I did enjoy it. Um, this is a print, Dune Arrakis. I haven't watched Dune since I was very, very little. I'm going to have to check it out again. But you got this really beautiful art print. And I usually don't like a lot of prints in these boxes, but this is gorgeous. And I mean, the video putting on video doesn't really show it justice or do it justice, but it's really pretty. And I liked what Nerblock did with this. Um, they put the they put all the royalty information on the back and not on the front. Um, is by this is by Barrett Biggers. Um, printed exclusively for Sci Fan Block with clear foil stamping. It's oh, and it's embossed. Dune is embossed right there. Um, I don't see any clear foil stamping on it. Anyway, I don't know, but I like that um, it, they, they didn't put the logo of Nerdblock or anything on the front and the, the artist's um, name and everything, all the information's on the back, so they're actually um, giving us information on the artist. I love that. And that's how, that's how you promote your artist. So the last thing in the box that I am absolutely razzed about is a 30th anniversary special variant cover for Nerd Block of Jim, Hem Jim, Jim Henson's Labyrinth. And it's a beautiful comic. I actually have um, the original cover one. I will be doing a huge Labyrinth Dark Crystal Jim Henson slash Brian Froud um, haul slash show and tell video soon. Um, so to get this before I did that video, that's just awesome. And <sighs> Labyrinth, oh my god, you just can't say enough good things about Labyrinth. Man, this thing is thick too. That's bigger than your regular comic. Oh, it's Ludo. Ludo friend. Oh, look at him there. He's so sweet. So this is really, really nice. Sir Didymus and Ambrosius. I always call me Ambrosia, but it's Ambrosia. This is just amazing. It is beautiful. What's the bat? That that made the box for me right there. So the well, that wasn't technically the last thing, but this is the last thing, and this shirt is amazing. I probably wouldn't have gone out of my way to buy this shirt if it was for purchase, but I like this shirt. There we go. It is a King Kong shirt. That's awesome. I actually like this. I really do. They did a good job on that shirt. 
So, oh, and I love the cover of their um, book this month. I get annoyed with all their advertisement stuff in here. They they need to put together a they need to put together a better booklet for their uh, boxes, such as like Loot Crate um, and all their specialty boxes do. Or um, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Um, and I hate to mention them, but Geek Fuel and there's one or two others. They put to good put together a really good book um, for their boxes, and the the booklets pertain to that specific box. They're not throwing all this superfluous stuff that's not related to the box and the items in that particular box. And Luke or er, Nerblock does that, and that's really very meh. I don't like that, you know. But whatever. So this article is the five dressed, five best dressed villains of all time. And I think that was in another one of these magazines. Um, then hor horror block advertisement. Then we get one little page that says, "What's inside this month's block?" And it gives your lowdown on your items. Um, Twilight Zone assorted action figures. Um, you could have gotten one of 11 possible characters. Star Trek, the original series, vintage shock classes, four pack. Um, yep, 20 possible sets. I'll never have them all, but I've been wanting some, so the fact that I finally have at least one set, that's pretty awesome. That my hair is out of control. Um, then we've got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Labyrinth comic. Oh, be still my, my nostalgic heart. Um, Metrobot. Metrobot pin. Um, from Metropolis. I could, why I could not think of that today, but that's what that is. Um, we have our Dune art print. And the King Kong shirt. Next month's theme is Squad Goals. I will not... Am I getting that one? I think I'm actually getting that one because it had uh, Harry Potter, Firefly, and Masters of the Universe. So I think I am getting that one. And we have um, a Star Trek article. Shaken, not stirred. A little cocktail recipe. Then we have an advertisement for um, a new bi-monthly Doctor Who box. Um, now, I am not a huge fan of Nerd Blocks one-off boxes or specialty boxes that, um, for example, pertain to, say, the convention boxes I've gotten two this year so far um, one I've already done the Emerald City Comic Con wasn't very impressed with it um, not 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 the worst of the convention boxes um, in the last two years but still not that great um, I did get the C2 E2 and I already know what's in it and not very impressed with that one at all um, I ha just haven't gotten around to doing a video yet but I will um, and then I have, I still am um, expecting the, the Nerd Block Star Wars Celebration box. I am, I have high hopes for that one. And for the price of that box, Nerd Block better step up that game. It better be worth the money. Um, but I wanted to try the Doctor Who box because I find that a lot of these box companies that stick, to a particular theme or particular franchise when they're focused on one thing the potential is always better um, I find the boxes to be better um, so I'm I'm 
I want to try the first box and see how it went because I love Doctor Who and I don't think there's just enough Doctor Who stuff um, being put in boxes. I mean, you get them occasionally, but it's not very, very often and, you know, not a lot of excitement there. So I, I wanted to try it out and see where it went. So I figured I'd give it a try. So what do you think? What was the best thing in the box for you? You know, by far, I think my two favorite items, well, my favorite items were two different things, but uh, the Labyrinth comic and the figure. Um, and then secondary, the, the pen, the shirt, and uh, the shot glasses. Um, and even I was even happy with the print. Um, I was very, very impressed with this box. I, I don't think some people will be, but for me, this box was a hit. And I really, really enjoyed it. So, um, as much as I like to trash talk um, nerd blocks sometimes, I was impressed with this box. So, yeah, no complaints. So, but... Comment below. Tell me what you liked. Um, if you got the box, what was your favorite item? But that's it for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to click the little notification bell in the description box below to be notified of when we have new content posted on our channel. And that's it for us. Say bye! Peace.